G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well today it won't be pointing at stupid so much as well pointing at stupid people who don't like rocket launchers who think that they go up and then come straight back down again. Well I'm going to have a look at the Atlas V on August 8 I think it was and um, Red's Red Wreck has gladly, kindly let me have a, a play with some of his footage and it's absolutely brilliant. I'll just play the little piece I want to look at in close detail. I'll play it a little bit quickly here and just enjoy this for a second. Well, I said I wasn't going to play with the stupid, but then I remembered I was going to get Antonio to see if he could actually try and show us some smarts and see if he can figure out just what's going on here. So what I'll do now is I'll play um, that same view that we just saw and I'll mix in a couple of other views as well, just so that we can be sure we're seeing exactly what we're seeing. Here it is. Thrust engine response looks good. 
3 minutes 40 seconds in. So, Antonio, guru of gurus, what do you think is happening here? How can the camera, Red's camera, be on the ground at at the sea level and in the dark, and yet when the rocket is, what, 100 kilometres up, it is suddenly in full sunlight, and that is plain for all to see that it is now in full sunlight. And that can also be backed up by the, the video feed coming back from the rocket, but I won't bother showing you that because you'll just laugh at it. But when you look at the feeds from south and from north and from directly behind, you can see that the rocket is now clearly up in the dawn sunlight. So how on a flat earth is that going to happen, Antonio? I'd love to hear how you make up, I mean, explain that one. There's a pat on the head for you, Wally.